Kobe and LeBron took their respective shows to New York and put on shows, but now they go head to head this weekend. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Hoare. What's our CBSSports.com NBA columnist Ken Berger joining me for the weekend look ahead, and it starts and ends on Sunday, what everybody's going to be talking about. That is Kobe versus LeBron. We saw each of them in New York this week putting up a great performance, and they're going to be able to do it head to head on Sunday. It's an MVP battle. It's a little bit of bragging rights and see where their teams are. You know, it's 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 the Super Bowl is over. It's basketball season, and these guys are rising to the occasion. It'll be fun to watch them go at it Sunday. Is there anything else that we should be looking at in this game aside from those two guys? You know, I think Cleveland is a team that's trying to. You know, they're, they're without Delonte West, and that hurts their depth. They've actually been sick. Uh, they've had several guys with the flu on the team, so they're playing a lot of guys long minutes. So I think they'd like to get back to um, a little more normalcy there and, and get back into their regular rotation. Um, you know, so that, that's something that Mike Brown's going to be trying to trying to work out these next uh, week or so. And of course, with the Lakers continuing to try and figure out what to do without Andrew Bynum in the rotation, they've got the Celtics uh, on Thursday night. Which, if you count Thursday as a weekend, as some people do, uh, that, that actually starts the weekend. Uh, you know, something else we should be looking at here. Can uh, the Hornets? They've lost four in a row. Chris Paul, maybe he comes back before the All Star break, maybe not. With the four games they have left before the All Star break, already on a four game losing streak, how much trouble are they in right now? Well, they're they're in a little bit of a, a tough spot now. Um, thankfully, the schedule is favorable. Toronto, Minnesota, and Memphis. Uh, before they play Boston, before the All-Star break. So they should be able to get that situation stabilized. There's no reason to rush Chris back before the break if they don't feel it's, it's necessary. So I, I think he'll be back after the All-Star break and give that, give that injury a chance to heal so that they can uh, you know, continue uh, on the path they were on before he got hurt. But, but what we have seen, I mean, obviously you know what Chris Paul means to this team because of everything he brings. I mean, we're talking about a guy that almost goes for quadruple doubles on occasions. Uh, Without him, this team is not a team that can go far into the finals or to the into the playoffs. Is it a possibility that they don't even make the playoffs if if he can't get back to that? Because groin injuries can can linger. It, it could. I mean, I, I, everything that I hear out of there is that they're not gravely concerned about it. But as you say, you never know. I mean, these are things that can that can pop at any time. Um, and he means everything to their team. I mean, he is everything, and he everything runs through him. The offense runs through him. He sets the tone. Um, arguably he's the best point guard playing right now uh, and they, they will miss him if he's out for any extended period of time. All right, what other games are you looking forward to this weekend? Uh, I like San Antonio Boston on Sunday that's the quote-unquote other game uh, <laughs> on Sunday and and it's a good one you know the Spurs everyone's sleeping on the Spurs um, I wouldn't recommend that they're you know last time I checked they still have Tim Duncan and and Manu and Tony Parker and you know I, they still defend great and you know I wouldn't I wouldn't look the other way on the, on, on San Antonio I think they're they're a team that's going to be there at the end and then Phoenix Detroit is also Sunday night uh, another game to, to look for uh, when you talk about Phoenix up and down you talk about Detroit there's a lot of different stuff going on there. Is that game, is that telling of anything? You know, I think it is. I mean, it's interesting to watch because it's two teams that made uh, big trades with bringing in Shaq in Phoenix last, last year and uh, Iverson into Detroit for Chauncey Billups, and they're both still trying to find themselves. And, you know, they're two teams that are, you know, they're used to being at the top of the heap. They're used to being the bully. Now they're being bullied, and maybe they get to take it out on each other on uh, Sunday night. All right, it's the NBA look ahead. Real quickly, uh, Kobe and LeBron, uh, both or either go for 50. Or neither, I guess. I don't think neither. I don't think either one goes for 50 in this game. I, I think it's a little different. You know, no disrespect to the Knicks, but they don't they don't defend like either of those teams uh, defend. So I, I don't think we see a 50 point game out of either guy on Sunday. No, they've earned more respect this year than they have in years past. Right. So they're doing okay, uh, I guess so. All right, folks. Uh, for more on the NBA, be sure to check out everything from uh, Ken Berger here on CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.